office, we have Don Strassheim, Senior Managing Director at ISI Group. He's joining us today. And Don was Chief Global Economist for Merrill Lynch for a decade and was voted to Institutional Investors All-Star Team for 10 consecutive years. Don, thank you for joining us. Let's get to some quick reaction of this uh, U.S. Treasury report. Is this the right thing to do? Well, I don't think so, Susan, at all. Um, the Treasury Secretary basically certified that China is innocent through the second quarter of this year. That is, not a currency manipulator. So China's behavior must change negatively for them to certify sometime in the future that they are a, manip a currency manipulator. Um, this is Washington basically raising the bar on its own behavior. It's, it's completely wacky, I think. And the very first thing he said in, in the press release from the Treasury is that um, we're going to watch and see how fast the currency appreciates. That's always been wrong. The focus should be on letting the markets decide, not Beijing decide. And uh, I think this was a step back, not a step forward. Don, let me just ask you about the currency, because the market doesn't decide where the yuan is placed. In fact, I think Beijing still holds the reins here. So what are you saying? Should the right. U.S. Treasury have labeled China as a currency manipulator? Uh, no. Um, in fact, there are various other uh, currencies around the world that are pegged to other currencies. So if, we, if we're going to try to to label China a currency manipulator because their currency was pegged to ours, we would have to do the same thing with a variety of other currency pairs, and that's never going to hold up under scrutiny anywhere. Um, Beijing decides, and it's their currency, it's their country, they're sovereign, they can do what, uh, do what they want. Um, uh, and they're not going to give that up any time in the foreseeable future. We'd like to let the market, we'd like to have them let the market decide. They're not about to do that, and we ought to just learn to live with it. Okay, but uh, what about some of the rhetoric from other senators who are going to force the issue, or they want to force the issue, Don? You know, you have Schumer and Graham saying we're going to take a bill to vote to, to possibly levy tariffs on Chinese made goods. Is that the right solution, do you think? Uh, no, that's not the right solution at all, uh, Susan. That would be a dramatic uh, step back, a step down the road toward uh, protectionism in which every country would lose. If Washington does that, China would slap Washington uh, back immediately. They would, wouldn't sit uh, idly by. Who knows where that leads? Neither country wants to go down uh, that road. And I think the administration will uh, will fight that, but uh, time will tell. Okay, Don, you, you keep saying that you we should have the market. You, you should want to see the market control and dictate where the yuan is placed, but that's not the case right now. So how do you make Beijing move and loosen and appreciate the currency? Uh, Susan, you don't. Uh, that's the whole uh, that's the whole point. If Washington, they, they're sovereign. They can do this this way if they choose. If Washington uh, feels like their behavior is so egregious, uh, Washington's going to have to do something to, uh, to get their attention, which I'm afraid leads down this uh, protectionist, uh, protectionist path. The reason this is, this is a losing strategy on, Wash on Washington's side is China's trade surplus globally is coming down dramatically. And it's going to continue to come down. And by the middle of next year, end of next year, it's going to be near balance. But China's oh. trade uh, surplus or deficit with us is going to remain uh, very large. And Washington is, quite frankly, not going to know how to handle that. Okay, so Don, let me just ask you then about the, the yuan. You know, we, on June 19th, we had the Chinese authorities saying that they're going to increase flexibility in the currency. Where are we going to see a trade in the, say, eight, next 18 months? Because you talked about erratic trading. What does that mean? What that means is this, this period from July 1, 2008 till June 19, 2010, that just ended, where the currency was absolutely pegged to flat. 
Now it's begun to appreciate a little bit, but it's going to appreciate erratically. That is, they're going to be up weeks and down weeks, maybe even up months and down months. That's, uh, that's going to be very different. I think on balance, the currency is going to appreciate. I would say that by the end of next year, you'll have the currency maybe at uh, 650 versus the 677 now and the 682 where it was on the 19th. Okay, Don, thank you for your time. Nice talking to you. Don Strassheim, Senior Thank Managing Director at the ISI Group. We're going to stay